What's going on guys? Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys two lights that I feel everybody should have in their camera bag. So I have two really amazing lights that I've been using for a while now in my videos. You probably won't even notice them because I use them so subtle, but if you're even remotely into photography or video production, you should definitely have these two lights or at least one of them in your camera bag, for sure, 100%. Now these two lights are very similar in terms of features and what they provide for your actual video and one of them actually isn't even out as crazy as that sounds but let's just get into the lights these two lights right here are the lights that you need in your camera bag this is the aperture mx this is the one that isn't out yet and this is the aperture m9 super small super lightweight and you can obviously see form factor is one of the reasons that you need these in your camera bag the similarities in these two lights are they're both mini you can obviously see that and this is going to play a huge factor into the travel aspect and having these in your camera bag the form factor you obviously want to have these in your bag they're so small they both feature dimmable controls so you can go as bright as you need to and as dim as you need to on both of these they both also feature internal batteries so these can be recharged there's no need to have a ton of AA batteries on you i think that that's amazing now the differences between these two lights is the size one you can obviously see that the mx is just a tad bit bigger than the m9 the mx is slightly built better I wouldn't even say slightly, it's 100% built better. It features a metal aluminum body, it's beefier, it feels a lot nicer, the weight of it is just 100% better. It's built totally better than this light. The MX also features temperature adjustments, so if you want it to go warmer or colder in terms of the light source that you're gonna be using on this, you can do that. One thing to note though is the M9 comes with a few plastic gels, so you can adjust the temperature on this. They want you guys to be able to use this in a lot of different scenarios, so keep that in consideration. You do have plastic color gels that come with this light so you can adjust the temperature. Overall though, these both are really amazing lights. This one's just slightly built better has a few more things that you can do with it. And this one's plastic, but this is still an amazing light. So just to turn these on really quick so you can see just how bright these get. This one's on a warmer temperature. Hopefully I don't have my video on uh, <laughs> auto white balance because this isn't gonna replicate well into the camera. But you can see they're both fairly bright. Like this one's a little bit brighter, but they both get really bright. On the MX light, it has a quarter 20 thread directly on the bottom of it built into it. And the MX comes with an attachment that you are able to mount quarter 20 threads into the light. So what I decided to do was, I have a few light stands that mount quarter 20 threads to them. And I took out these lights. I have two M9s and I have one MX. And I just wanna show you guys what you guys can achieve with these lights and how amazing your footage can become with just using these little mini lights and why you should have these lights in your camera bag. Really quick before we get into these examples though, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsors of this episode, the lovely people over at Squarespace. If you guys have no idea what Squarespace is, it's the all-in-one platform for pretty much everything relative to websites. They have domains, they have templates. It's just a really easy and fun place to be if you're trying to do anything relative to creating a website. Along with that, they have award-winning 24-7 customer support. So if you ever find yourself in a jam where you don't know what's going on with your website, you don't know how to create something, you just don't know what's going on, you can hit them up right in the chat, they'll hit you right back. So if you guys are interested in bettering your online presence with the website, make sure you hit the link down in the description for a free trial to Squarespace. And you can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imogen for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get straight into these examples though. I think you guys are gonna be really surprised what you can create with these little lights.
So after checking out that footage, I just want to let you guys know that most of the time I was using this as my key source, my brightest source of light for the subject in a lot of those shots, just because it's bigger and it's brighter. It's not that much bigger and it's not that much brighter, but if you're going to be keying a subject, most of the time you want that light to be the biggest possible source. And this is the MX light, not to confuse you all. This is the, the MX light, the red one, my bad. So one really quick obvious thing about these lights are they're not the biggest light source that you can get. So you're not going to be wanting to use these to key light sources and really massive sets. I think that these lights work the best when they're paired with other lights already in or at a location and just practicals in a scene or space. I think that these are really amazing lights just to accent a subject and this is the primary use that I use them for. I pretty much use them all the time in my YouTube videos. I actually have one right off to the right side just hitting the side of my face like this and this is the reason that I use them. I feel like they just add so much value to the shot in just such a little subtle way. If you ever find yourself shooting a car scene, shooting in an elevator, vlogging in a really dark place, taking a dark picture, at a place, these are the lights that you wanna have in your camera bag. These are when these are gonna come in clutch. I can't tell you how many times I've been shooting a car scene and I just can't think of how to light it other than using my cell phone light. Or I've been in a restaurant or a really dark place trying to vlog. Like these are the times that these little lights come in clutch or even when I'm out doing night photography. These little lights, they make that process so much easier to complete. Those reasons alone are the reason that I keep these little lights in my camera bag. And they're small, it's like, why not? They're rechargeable. Just throw them on the charger at nighttime and then whenever you're heading out to do anything, you'll have something to light a source if the time comes. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the M9 light because like I said, the MX is not out yet. And also make sure you guys follow Aperture on Instagram to be updated on when this is gonna be out because this should be releasing really soon. It's an amazing light. The temperature adjustments on this light make it worth it. I just realized I never said how much this light costs. I'm gonna put that up on the screen right now. But yeah, this is an amazing light, man. Check it out if you're interested. Go ahead and drop me a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to check out a lot of my next video though. Peace.